The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX and the FTSE. As you can see, I've posted those in. Compliments of our friend AS over in the UK, London uh, to be exact. Uh, you'll notice here, especially that DAX uh, chart, you'll notice it's with that yellow box up there, folks. That's a lot of distribution. And you'll notice here that almost everybody that's bought in that box is going to have a loss if it gets a little bit lower. And that could bring a little bit of fear into the market. We might even get a two-day sell-off in something. I'm not making any predictions, not making any promises, but there's a possibility we could do that. Now, I do want to share a chart with you with uh, one of the smartest dudes I know in this business. Uh, happened to meet him about 18 years ago. He's over in uh, the U.K. And... Uh, I've posted some of his charts before, but I do want to bring this one up to you and show you that uh, this is what he's looking at right now. He believes he was looking for a top to come in at 47.42. Uh, on that, this is what he posted a long time ago, if you'll remember. Uh, he still thinks that the market will probably go a little bit higher sometime next year, but this could also be it. He doesn't uh, – he just knows we're in for a pretty good uh, correction. And that correction come, should come down – uh, to the area of about uh, what he's looking at is around 3,200 uh, in the S&P. So that's where the top of that blue line comes in. I'll keep you up to date on this. Uh, he is just a private trader. He does not manage money. He handles his own family stuff. So that's the main thing that we want to be watching. Okay, let's talk a little bit about our stock market here. Oh, first of all, what we need to do is get this up here so we can see it if you remember yesterday we were talking about a few of the uh the fang stocks actually it was amazon and also facebook this is what we were looking at at facebook and i want you to see what happened yesterday because we did make i believe some type of a, a support double bottom uh in the facebook we'll get this up here and you'll be able to see it easy enough and by the way, Joe DiNapoli is our guest today at the half hour break. You'll notice here that we did make a uh, lower low than we made back on the, uh, uh, well, actually missed it by half a dollar. And so that's a pretty good support down there in Facebook. If we break below that, and if we break below that, then you've got some serious problems going on. The same thing here with Amazon. Now, here's what I, I really would like for you folks to take a look at this and, and do, you know, humor, humor me and do the work yourself. You see the little red, the little red thunderbolt that says 3412. Go down and see what the low was yesterday in uh, Amazon, and I, I, someone said it was right around that level. I don't know whether it is or not. I do anything in this. I don't do much in the stock market, so it's not important. But speaking of the stock market, let's look yesterday as what's happened in the stock market. First of all, we're going to take a look here at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. That's the one that's reported more than anything else. You notice that after the high was made, and this is a remember a five-minute chart. So you see the ABCD up there at uh, 34,950. Okay, that was the ABCD, beautiful ABCD. Then the market breaks down, okay, and then late in the afternoon, you'll see it makes a retracement, and look where it goes to, folks, 34,600. It rallies on 250 points to the exact 382, and then it goes down and completes the A, B, C, D pattern to the downside. Well, if you've got an A, B, C, D pattern to this extent, you would be expecting a rally. So the, what we try to do is to anticipate what some of these things might be doing. And so what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll take the same format. But what we have to do now is we've got to look at a 30-minute chart so we can get more information on the chart. So here's what we're going to show you. You can see the A, B, C, D down there at that uh, uh, 33,900. That was the actual low, folks, of the big move. You can see that big A, B, C, D, right, right. I mean, you you can't make this up. It's right to the right number. 
The number is 3494. The actual low was 3492. How close can you get? And look what we've had so far today. We had a really nice ABCD pattern complete. Now it's jumping around. Now, if we should get above 34,582, then you've got a chance that this market could have a little bit more of a rally. Remember now, it's very oversold because we've been coming down since the 25th of October, November. Okay, so we've been down six days, so we could easily get a two or three day rally. So all I'm doing is following it day by day, trying to find an entry point so they don't have to risk very much. Uh, those of you that went with the 24-7, we had a sale in it last night at 30, uh, was it 36.55, right at the 3.82. It dropped 50 handles. And uh, then the, the NASDAQ today made a perfect, uh, here, I think I have the NASDAQ one up here because it was so doggone spot on. By golly, I have it. Let's get up here. This was the one earlier this morning. We sent this out. Very, very early, and you'll notice here that we did hit that exact number, folks. We hit that exact 382 retracement, and then we backed off. We did make new lows. We rallied a little bit then, but it did hit the numbers, you know, right on the spot. Boy, if you think these algorithmic traders are not in there using these numbers, well, you ought to think about it because, boy, they they hit these things like rockets when they uh, when they occur. And when they're wrong, and when they're wrong – then you've got to worry about it. Speaking of being wrong, let's take a look at what happened yesterday in the natural gas. And what I do is when I have a losing trade, it wasn't bad. It was 300 bucks, But I wanted to see, you know, what I possibly did to the wrong side. And I didn't. I went, I went over this. I didn't do anything wrong. It was just a wrong trade. It was a market that was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Markets are never wrong. What is it with the saying by Jesse Livermore? Uh, markets are seldom wrong. Men are often wrong. So this is the daily of the natural gas. Now look at this, folks. We've been coming down for two months. We topped on October the 5th. Now here we are in the no December the 2nd. We went below the 78% retra retracement there at uh, 4314. That's where I was buying. Had a stop at 4284. And I wanted to see why did it go lower. So what I do is I go to another time frame, and then I wait for a pattern that I can see and understand. And that happened uh, this morning at around uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. Let's get this up here just as I was uh, getting the chickens out. But I wanted to bring this to your attention for two reasons, because this is a, a pattern we have to start looking at. Because if you'll remember here, this is the yum-yum trade. You see where the bottom is made down there? Uh, right at right right around three o'clock in the morning. Now this is a 30 minute chart. Now you see the red bar going down and then you see the the green bar. That's the yum yum bar that John John Hill likes so much. You got to get that really big move down. And then once you exceed 79 or 80 percent of that red bar, you go long. That would have put you long at 420 and it went all the way up to uh, 432. And it's still trading up around the 426, 427 level. So that's how you enter that trade. Now, we did the same thing in another market, and that was – hold on one second. I want to get it up here, and if I have it – oh, no, I don't have it. Oh, I think we do. Let's get it up here right here. Here's what we're waiting for, but we haven't got it. This is what we're waiting for. All right, this is the same situation now, and what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at silver. And we're going to look at silver after the break. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. 
educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, right back, take a look at silver. Silver's been down 13 days in a row. It's extremely oversold, but it's hanging there right at the 78% level. Folks, it's not rallying, so to me, it looks like it's getting ready to go a little bit lower. So uh, that's all I can see. The same thing in the gold. We've already went through that. Uh, the gold had a beautiful short sale a couple days ago. Uh, the profit objective on that comes in at 1760. We're trading at 1767, I believe, right now. And that is a 135 pattern on the gold pattern. Let's just talk about uh, the Treasury bonds for uh, Maria today. Uh, this is what uh, I was looking at yesterday. I put, in fact, this was yesterday's chart. And I, well, no, I updated it. I'm very sorry. I did update it because we did complete the pattern we were looking at. And that is the old AB equals CD. The good part about this is, folks, we exceeded that high of the 28th of uh, November and didn't go anywhere. We went a higher high by two ticks and it immediately broke $600. So those are the kind we have nice setups. So you don't have to risk a whole lot of money, especially when it goes up and cleans out all those stops. And that's a huge market, folks. That's the second number of largest open interest, I believe, after Treasury notes are the Treasury bonds. So that's another one that looks really interesting. Now, let's get back to our favorite little topic, AB equals CD. We'll get this up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you the action that we had today. But remember, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, now here is the pattern that we just completed just a little while ago. You'll see that beautiful Gartley down there uh, right at the perfect ABCD, right near the 61% retracement. Uh, that sets up another ABCD coming in here at about a half an hour. Uh, actually, less than that. It's going to be in about uh, 1130 to 1145, right when we're on the air. Sometime this morning with Mr. Joey D himself, we should be making a top in that S&P somewhere about 45, 4583. So that's uh, something to pay attention to. But uh, it's just a pattern. And I'm bringing it to your attention. The, the, the forecast line is the AI line. You can do this yourself. Uh, it's not hard to figure out. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, that's part of what that Floor Traders Handbook did. Let's move on to a couple others that we really need to talk about. I've covered the natural gas. We need to get into one that has really, really been rocking and rolling, folks. 
uh, for us, and that has been the. Uh, I'm not short it anymore, but we've uh, we had a really nice short in it. Got out of it way too early, but I want to show you the volatility here uh, in the crude oil. Look where we were at that 80, folks. That was the 78% level back on the 24th. You'll notice the first rally back was at the 382. The second rally back was at the 382. That was at 69. We did that on a 15-minute chart yesterday to show you every single swing, how they were all ABCDs all the way up. And it went from 69.60. Last night, we had an order to sell at 67.40, and it got to 67.30, and we missed it, and it dropped six thousand dollars to a three drive to a bottom pattern as you can see it right there uh, spot on now what i want to bring to your attention is that yum yum trade again now you notice the low was at 62.33 okay now what what the process is is after you have a bar that's that big you put a buy stop at the 80 percent of that bar in other words when that thing goes above 80 percent of that bar they've trapped a whole lot of people and that's exactly what happened. That triggered at 64.80, and I believe we're trading uh, well above 66 now, as I recall, but we'll be able to see that. Okay, anyway, that's a couple of things that we're watching. It's uh, rather simple. You won't see any uh, moving average charts or oscillators on my charts because I, simplicity trumps complexity. And I like to keep it as simple as possible. And that's really what I really try to do. Okay, now we've covered the silver. Uh, we've covered the natural gas. Uh, we've covered Amgen, FTSE, the euro. Ah, the bane of my existence, boys and girls. <laughs> this is driving me nuts, this one here. Let's just get up here. Take, but, hey, I'm, I'm driving me nuts, but I'm not losing. I'm breaking even. You notice we bought at the 382 retracement after the big drop-off. That was really nice. It made a nice ABCD up there. It made about, oh, 30 pips, but we were looking for something more. So all we did was we put our stop on the euro at the 113.12 level, which we just hit again, I think, for the fourth or fifth time. We're going to try to rebuy it a little bit lower down there at 128.27. But the fact that it's gone sideways for so long and not moving higher – is enough to make me nervous. That's like using a time stop. So what I'm doing there is just getting my stop to break even just as quick as I can so they don't have to risk very much. If I can catch a few moves, just miss the one in crude oil today, but that's coming. I'll get it the next time. But that's the one that we'll be uh, watching for. We got the S&P, which is a really good one this morning, and the gold is acting well, too. So I think we'll be, uh, we'll be okay here. But remember, these markets are really active, folks. And uh, like Basil said, you know, be prepared because uh, these things can move in any direction at any time without any notice of all. And that's it. Also, pay attention, folks, to the SMH chart that uh, Basil posted this morning on his show because it was at the top up there at 332, or I believe it was. It was a perfect ABCD. I mean, it's just uh, I tried to bring it up, but the problem was my charts are not gauge to pick it up uh, right away and so it made it a little more difficult to uh, to get to do that so let's remind ourselves that uh, these things can react uh, very very quickly and they usually do but uh, overall folks the overall balance of this market is extremely bearish in my opinion I would be afraid, as Don Knotts would always say, not Don Knotts, Don Adams would say, be afraid, be very afraid. And that's a, that's a good thing to do because when you got your fear up, your adrenaline's working and your, all your senses are moving in the right direction, and that makes it easy. Complacency doesn't have that luxury. Complacency says that, oh, take it easy. Everything's good. It's going to go up forever. There's a lot of that out there, of course. But watch it. Also, keep an eye on the Bitcoin, folks. If we get Bitcoin below 54,000, a little bird told me that it was probably going to go back to 30,000. So that little bird is pretty smart. So uh, keep an eye on I don't know what the low or what we're – does anybody know where Bitcoin is even trading this morning? I'd be interested to know if uh, someone would give me a quote on that. Uh, I, uh, Bo, I just don't think I'm going to have time for Nike, but uh, if I have time after Joe is on the line, which I doubt because he likes to talk more than I do, uh, we'll be able to see uh, see what that does. So, but I'll, I'll cover Nike. Uh, uh, it's at 56.5. It's got to get above 5400. The gold, the gold's got a bottom coming in, I believe, in around 1760. If you're an if you're a 24/7 subscriber, I sent that out. 
Uh, it's a beautiful one three five pattern. It just just couldn't look any better. But that comes in right at between 1760 and 1759. And the gold, I am not even sure where we are trading right now. I, I have a hard time looking over my shoulder to see where the TV is. But the gold is trading at uh, 68, so it needs to get down about another eight or nine dollars down to that uh, down to that level, and then we'll be able to uh, take a look at it here. So we've been as high as uh, what's our high here in the S and P? It should be coming in. Uh oh, right about now. Right. Well, it looks like we got as high as uh, 71, but uh, it says we're getting ready to the top in the old stop and P, folks. So buckle up. Joe DiNapoli in the house. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe with a little luck we have Joe DiNapoli in the house. Joe, are you there? I'm here, Larry. Can you hear me? Oh, coming in good, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Hey, don't you have a birthday coming up pretty soon? Uh, I already had it. Come and was gone. It was it November? Uh, that's Patty's birthday. You got to mix oh, up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, All no right, problem. listen. Hey, listen, my friend. Can you see, can you see my smiling face on there? Or yeah, not? yeah. I see your high school picture there. Yeah, you bet. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I looked. It was only 15 years ago. I graduated a little earlier than that. Yeah, well, it took you seven years in the fifth grade. That was part of your problem. Hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. Uh, hey, you, you, know, got, folks, you got I'm, your Christmas tree yet? Uh, Hanukkah bush, my friend. Hanukkah bush. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah is the only Jewish Chinese woman in the in the Eastern Hemisphere. But no, no, we have a, we have a we have a beautiful ceramic tree. It's about four feet high. It's made out of baccarat crystal. It was given to me by one of the famous Los Angeles Dodgers, Wes Parker, about oh thirty some years ago. It's the only thing I retained. Uh, from the uh, marriage was that Christmas tree, and we put it up, and uh, it's really cool. In fact, I ought to take a picture of it and show it in here. But uh, anyway, that's about it. You know, we I, well, hey, folks, Joe and I are like brothers because we've grown up together. We've been doing this together for almost fifty years. And uh, but let's tell tell the folks what you're looking at, Joe, because they really want to hear your your market views because you have a a real uh, affinity for this stuff. So tell us what you're looking at today, my friend. Well, Larry, I think I got some incredible information uh, for you today. I got a couple of charts from my uh, South American, South, uh, South African um, Denapoli expert, Peter Van White, and he brought this to my attention, and it, it, they just blew my mind because I wasn't aware of it. This guy's really sharp, and um, uh, they're going to be coming up real soon. But first, you know, I'm going to piss off probably 30% of the audience just by going through some of the risks we're faced with. And then we're going to get right to the charts. We've got a lot of charts today. I hope we can finish this up because uh, it's you pretty exciting uh, Take your uh, time. situation. Take your time. All right. Um, all right. What, what we're looking at now in the market, big picture, high level, extraordinary liquidity risk, extraordinary overvaluation risk, extraordinary management risk, inflation, excessive debt risk. We're in three bubbles, real estate, equities, and bonds. I think the worst of the three are bonds. Then you got equities, and then you got real estate. But we're, uh, we're, we're in a bubble in all three. And uh, I think real estate may survive it, but uh, not the other two. In fact, we're already, we're, we, we have clearly gone over the cliff. And I'll, I'll show you that in, in, uh, in detail in a, in a few minutes. But I want to talk about the management risk. Why am I so heavily in cash? You know, why am I so negative in the market? You know, it's not just simply a break of a, of a trend indicator or resistance at a, at a uh, Denapoli level. It's, it's, this, it's, it's what this screen is about. We've got an America last policy. We've given up our energy independence. We've got a wide open southern border. We're printing money to the max. Inflation is going nuts. We've got supply, supply chain uh, shortages. Many of these are self Inflicted. You may not know this, Larry, but I took a freighter back from um, from uh, China a few years back, and I saw firsthand what goes on in these ports. And by just changing a couple of regulations, we could really help the supply chain thing. And we're not doing it. It'd be simple as simple as a fifth grader could do it, and we're not doing it. We got fools in control. You know, they think they think the best thing on earth is putting a cross gender guy in a dress in some major position. That is their agenda. They think it's wonderful. We've got a socialist agenda. The people that run this country uh, have terrible uh, um, approval ratings, Un unequal application of the law, distrust of institutions, um, looting and lawlessness. So that is the backdrop for everything that's coming down the pipe now. All my charts, everything. And um, we can't get away from that, and we can't hide it, and, and we have to recognize that this is what we're dealing with. Joe? Um, in 2006, uh, I was in Bangkok, and um, you know Soy 8, Larry. Um, yep. I, was, I was sitting up there in Soy 8, and we could see the city burning from every direction. Now, in America, we got this smash and grab thing. Uh, we got, just like in Bangkok, we get barbed wire on the streets. So uh, the destruction of America is uh, that I talked about on the September 14th show is well underway. And in my opinion, um, there have been some very positive signs lately. But, you know, are we going to make it another year to where, where we can get some new management? And um, the jury's out. I, I don't know if, if the country will be in good enough shape to come back after that, after that next year is up. So now let's look at some incredible charts um 
This is a chart of the Dow yearly. So we're taking, we're talking big, you know, high level here. And it's a log chart. Now, I don't know if you do log charts on Denapoli or Fibonacci level stuff, but uh, uh, Peter Van White down in South Africa, his YouTube channel is right here on this chart and uh, there's a lot of free stuff on there for our listeners. But anyway, um, you just take a look at that XOP. That XOP came in exactly when the pandemic hit. Now, you know, how do, how in 1975, when this thing was formed, that's the C low at 570. How in 1975 at that C low was that XOP predictive of something as horrible as this pandemic? You know, who knows? But it is, and that's how this Fibonacci stuff works. Uh, people that are listening need to understand there's something really weird going on here. And, and look at this next chart. Look at, this is where that XOP came in, Larry. Uh, this is as far as we go. We, we do, the XOP is the 1.618 expansion. We don't do 2.6, 3.6 and all that other stuff. We don't do it. After the XOP is achieved, we go to the uh, step forward and we do a new expansion. So right at that XOP, we hit, and, the, and that is when the pandemic hit. And of course, we had a massive correction. We lost, I think we were down about 45, 50%, depending on the index. And here we are. I mean, we have recovered. We've gone back up uh, through that XOP. And what we're doing now is we're going to settle back down on the XOP. This is the high here on the Dow, current monthly Dow. This is current. And we have... Um, we have the pandemic high at 29,500 roughly. And we have broken down right at that XOP. We've broken down, we've recovered, and we've made uh, substantial new highs. And now we're rolling over. And we have broken um, an indicator that I developed called the MACD predictor. Now the MACD predictor comes from two guys you know well, um, Gerald Appel, he developed the MACD and, and uh, two wavy lines. Uh, and uh, you got Jake Bernstein, who put the right numbers to it. And then you got Joe DiNapoli that changed those two wavy lines into a single line called the MACD predictor. And this thing is just the most incredible tool. This is what we use for our trend analysis. Wow. Hey, we got to uh, take a break. Joe, you hit the 33% piss off index in the first five minutes. So keep on going. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, with Joe DiNapoli, DiNapoli Levels. Joe, you want to continue, please? Right. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I've got to impress on you the, the beauty of this MACD predictor. Gerald Appel developed the equations, Jake Bernstein the numbers, Joe DiNapoli put it in a, in a, in a way that you, can, that you can easily use. And, and it's what we use for trend in indicating whether the market's going up or down. Now, what's amazing about it is that it seems to track the algos. So we've just had a break in this thing. Of the That's a monthly chart. We just had a break of this thing. And this is where, why you saw such a lot of flurry in the market to the downside recently is because the algos, somehow this thing tracks the algos. And so we've broken. We've come down through. And the indications are that we're going to keep going now. What's fascinating about this, Larry, is that that XOP that I showed you on the yearly and the monthly Dow, which is a result of the log chart, uh, expanded objective point, okay, developed from the C point uh, back in 1975. This thing is going to come down and it's going to come, it's going to revisit. We do a lot of revisiting of, of nodes and expansion. So when when something revisits it often supports very well now look at that point 3a2 that point 3a2 is coming right in there at that old high right in there with that xop um manifesting so i think that's going to be one hell of a place to uh to commit a serious amount of money right now i'm playing around you know i'm, I'm messing around buying stuff mostly uh cleared my shorts but buying stuff and uh, this is going to be a place where I'm going to look to uh, to put on a little bit uh, heavier uh, position. Now, um, my current positioning is a little le less cash because as the market comes down, I'm a buyer. Uh, I've still got about the same in China. I've got about the same in uh, high yield munis, oil about the same. Now, tech has gone up. Tech has had come down in price, so it's gone up in my portfolio. Probably the biggest change is I'm, I'm getting back into airlines and manufacturers. And um, if we have the time, I'll show you exactly where I'm buying those things. Uh, gold and silver, I, I got out of a little bit of my gold um, and at, a, at a COP expansion. I'll show you that chart if we have the time. Also, um, I'm about 2% in uh, miscellaneous uh, economic stuff. And I have cleared my short primarily in FedEx at a at a nice profit. And last time I was on, I mentioned that I was going to show up FedEx. All right, now, on eleven twenty, that's Patty's birthday, by the way. Uh, that's what you're remembering, Larry. Yeah. Um, and on eleven twenty, I did a presentation for the Napoli expert, Piotr Geller, in, in Europe, and his group. He's got a pretty big group over there. Um, very sharp guy. Anyway, um, this chart is from that presentation, and we were making new highs in the S&P just about the time that I, I was doing that uh, presentation. And I wanted to show on that presentation, though, even though the S&P is making, making new highs, this market is done. We have folded over, and I'm going to show you what I mean. What I like to do is I look at, at the more speculative stuff, where the hot money goes. 
we're, we're the people that, you know, all the pushing in the news and you hear all about them on CNBC and, you, you know, you can't, you got to stuff your ears to get away from these hot speculative stocks, one of which was uh, T-Doc. And when I gave that presentation, T-Doc was sitting there around 121, 122, which is less than half of its value. And this thing has crashed. Even though the S&P is going up at new highs, when I gave this presentation, this mother is crashed. It is down to 122. Yesterday, it went down to 93. So yeah. we're crashing. Take a look at Stein. Now, there's some kind of a, they do some kind of, a, you know, like a MasterCard thing. Uh, whatever that is, uh, Stein, all right? Uh, it was 95. Uh, when I gave the presentation, it was uh, down around 19. That's two weeks ago, right? Now it's 15, crashing. These are the hot stocks, crashing. Um, ZM, Zoom, when I gave the presentation, it was way down off its highs, but I don't know what the hell the highs were. They were somewhere between, well, like around... 560 or something it was down when i gave the presentation it was down to 257 yesterday it was 197 market is crashing um quantumscape they do battery storage stuff it's a high spec company um i like to look at these high speed they're gonna roll over first it's just like in the dot com thing back in the 2000s these markets certain Segments of the markets roll over first. The higher spec stuff, the hot money stuff rolls over. Look at this thing. When I gave the presentation, we're looking at 33 and a half two weeks ago. Now it's 27. Markets are crashing. Twitter, the censorship stock. Look at this thing. This thing is, is you know, it hasn't completely fallen apart yet. It's only down 50%. Yesterday it was down to 43. It was up at 80 before. Um, Facebook. Yesterday, Facebook was right around 308, I believe. Now, I'm a small buyer at that COP at 306, and I'm a larger buyer down there around 277. And do I think it'll get there? I do. Um, Baba. Now, Baba is a little bit different category because they get on the wrong side of the uh, Chinese uh, government. And you do not, do not ever <laughs> want to get on the wrong side of the Chinese government. They, these people are very bright, and they are... Uh, they keep things under control. They're and so look vicious. at look at what happened to this. When I gave the presentation, we were at 125, and that's down from 320. And 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 now now yesterday uh, it was down. Uh, uh, well, actually, it was down to about 125 yesterday. When I gave the presentation, I believe it was 135 or 140. Now I'm getting ready to buy this thing, and you can see from the chart where I want to buy it. Point is that these things are getting decimated. Now, the Robin Hood, it looks like the, the sheriff of Nottingham harpooned this guy. Uh, <laughs> look at this thing. All right, 85, and we're approaching the COP at uh, 1955. Now, yeah. as I said, what, hap what I do is that I put buy orders in at the Napoli levels below the market. When the market gets there, I decide whether or not I want to keep the stock. I often get fills. Then I take a look and decide whether or not I want to keep the stock. This is from an old presentation. These numbers mean nothing, but I'm just showing you uh, how I do it. I might be down there working on my classic Mercury, trying to get a paint job done, and I'm filled, and I come up an hour later and go, oh, that's nice. And a lot of the time, all the time, a lot of the time, they'll hit these numbers, they'll bounce nicely, and all of a sudden, I'm doing really well. Yeah. It is the interpretation of how these markets act when they hit the Napoli levels that helps you to decide whether or not you want to keep a given stock or um, a commodity like gold or silver. Now let's talk about Silver Weekly, SLV, paper silver. About a week or two ago, yeah, about two weeks ago, we hit a COP resistance lever on silver at 23.26. Now, if this COP holds, if this, if this natural selling that comes in there holds the market back, then even though the CPI may be 11%, doesn't matter. This sucker is going to go sideways and it's going to drop because it's being held back. If we want to see this market strong, we want to see silver and silver at 50, it's going to have to do something like this. And of course, it did. Okay, Larry, I'm holding. 
Hey, stay with us, buddy. We'll be right back with Joe DiNapoli, DiNapoli Levels. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, we're back with Joe DiNapoli, DiNapoli Levels. Joe, would you like to take this time to maybe give a little uh, speech on some of the services that you have and how they could reach you? That's called a commercial. Well, um, I'll mention that when I get done with these charts. I want to really make sure. You've that, only got um, two minutes. You've only got two minutes, Chief. That's all we got left? Yep, two oh minutes. Oh, my God. Two yeah, minutes. time goes fast oh. when you're having fun. Joe, next time you oh. come on, we'll have you on for the whole hour, okay? Yeah, I, I blah. damn, I wanted to talk about Omicron. Okay, anyway, yeah, we're going to give a special. We'll give you a little advertisement here. It's $99, um, includes 60 days free on the website. That's for the Trading with the Napoli Levels book. Um, you get 60 days free on our client forums, free shipping in the USA. Go to pibtrader.com, order page, miscellaneous section, code Tommy. And, um, hmm. Damn, I wish we were on a little longer. But well, we're not. I do too. So, it's so everybody uh, else too. So okay, I want to say, it. cut me off whenever we're done. All right. Um, well, they'll do it automatically. So just keep talking. All right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I got you. I love BA. I love Boeing. It, it. I bought some yesterday. It's right down to a revisit of the major drop. Larry, see that major drop that we had in the pandemic. The yeah. 382 resistance was right there at 188. Now we're at the revisit. This is usually a great place to be a buyer. I bought some of that stuff. I bought some of uh, JetBlue. Um, anyway, um, 
There's some stuff I'm buying. And uh, gold, I'll give you the bottom line here. We did not get the kind of price action that is bullish um, for gold or silver. It, you know, the idea we all thought, or I certainly did, and I think you did, this thing's going 2500 3000 There is no confirmation of that. The, the market did not do what these added lines yep. show on this chart. And yep. we just we just fold over, went down, and so there's nothing particularly bullish yet about the gold market. Um, that's what we would have liked to have seen. We didn't see it. And so okay, we got to go now, buddy. God bless you. Love have you. Merry, Merry Christmas. See you in a couple weeks. Talk to you later, folks. Joe DiNapoli, DiNapoli Levels. Tomorrow is uh, Paula Webb.